Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Now we're back again with another war, I believe this is War 9 and rematch against Kenobi. And this is also the war that took place with the, uh, well, issues that Android players are facing. Luckily, initially, it didn't seem that uh, anybody in our lines was severely affected. However, uh, this game tends to auto-update for some people, so it did actually cause some problems uh, later on but we're gonna get to that and uh, that's all good so uh there was some going off the script later on for me as well and uh, a couple of fights that i initially thought i would take uh ended up being given to somebody else because our battle group had to alter the plan again due to some uh, unexpected reasons but we're gonna get there so this time i'm starting on path one in section one which i haven't done in a while i need to deal with this phoenix which is going to be fairly easy fight even though it's high ground then it's uh, a long shot then i need to deal with this weapon x and uh, later on we're gonna get to that when we are there so i'm gonna be boosting up obviously because it's kenobi even though phoenix is a very easy fight in itself but i will obviously use these boosts for the next fights also so here i'm going to be just using my dr doom and uh it's going to be a very simple straightforward kind of deal uh i am using a regeneration boost just because i have some expiring in like a day so basically it was either use it or lose it and i figured just in case i do take some chip damage just in case i do take some block damage or eat a hit or something like that you never know how this is going to go maybe that boost can save me a potion for future so again rather use it than lose it and uh well here it's fairly easy you know we do our combos we drop in our heavies we nullify her furies feed our mystic dispersion and uh, within a couple of combos we're already basically at level three here she's using her level one she doesn't want to hold it and i'm going to use level three which is going to be way overkill keep in note that my doom is a rank four six star and uh, therefore you know plus the boosts and plus the class advantage uh he does he does plenty of damage and this was very kind of easy quick fight i didn't even really have to do anything here after her regen and her in untouchable phase kind of had expired now i do change my mastery setup slightly for this fight and the thing that i do is i just took off dexterity basically uh because this uh, node is against longshot uh who can benefit from mystic dispersion and with long shot if you are using any champion that is not incinerate immune there is the one critical trick if he has pure of heart active then it doesn't matter if he connects your level two or not you can die basically uh so here with the doom the strategy is fairly simple just uh don't really let him get to level twos i do make a mistake here initially but my indestructible three boost saves me but the plan is to spam my level ones level twos uh, I know that masochism is a thing, but I was confident that I can out damage it. So here I'm going to go for level two. And unless I go up to level three, Longshot has absolutely no buffs that he could potentially nullify, or there is no way that he can benefit from Mystic Dispersion. Therefore, that is something that I am not worried about. The main aspect here is not let not to let him use a level two, and uh, we're going to be fine. As far as everything else goes, you know rank 4 doom super tanky i basically have unlimited block damage that i can take i don't ever need to worry about taking hits on a block i'm going for another level 2 and you know incinerates are putting in some work so here i go for a heavy attack because why not and uh i think i'm gonna yeah yeah i should have probably pushed him past the bar power there before i use my level 1 but he's at 14 percent I'm, I'm at 19%, sorry, 98%, no, I'm not at 19%, and the fight's nearly over here. At this point, I just figured I'm just going to go for the kill, and uh, level 2 is more than enough to finish off the fight. So, fairly straightforward fight, but again, when you fight long shot, everything can go wrong very, very quickly, unless you are incinerate immune, uh, because that uh, level 2 will mess you up if he gets to throw it whilst Pure of Hearts active. Now against this Wolverine Weapon X, I'm going to be using Quake. I could have also used Quake against the Longshot, but I figured since I do have a rank 4 Doom, why not just use a champ? Why not use a rank 4 6 star over rank 5 5 star? But obviously Quake is perfectly capable of handling that fight too. And now in this fight, um, 
I did change my mastery setup once again a bit more just to give Quake a bit more oomph and I activated uh, that another regeneration boost that was also set to expire. We have plenty of them kind of given to us so why not use them because I spec'd half uh, uh, ouchie masteries and uh, that obviously helps me close out this fight quicker. Honestly, in this fight, I was so focused on Wolverine of an X that I didn't even pay attention to his health bar. The main thing is I do not let go of my heavy attack because I do not want to re-trigger that uh, buffet, which will give him a ton of healing. Uh, but other than that, he's going to spend his entire fight unblockable. And uh, it's just something that I kind of have to deal with. He's also stun immune, but... Uh, as long as you are moderately comfortable quaking stun immune opponents, it's not the biggest issue. Uh, the fact that he is being like super aggressive is actually kind of to a degree helpful as well because it's easier to kind of stay in your rhythm. And we're going to see that I finish this entire fight without taking as much as a chip. Uh, I'm going to finish on a full, beautiful, shiny, shiny yellow bar. And it's just going to be one of those uh, very nice, nice quake fights. Uh, sometimes I kind of miss using Quake, but uh, after this fight, <laughs> I, remi I reminded myself that uh, my fingers are subject to immense amount of pain after prolonged quaking. <laughs> it's all good. So there was every maw that I was meant to take uh, just to open up this uh, middle section in section 2. And that every maw was on the footloose and kinetic transference node. Now he's high ground defender, so the plan was for me to wait till um, the boss goes down and then clear the middle section but uh, that had to be altered therefore somebody else took care of that ebony maw because obviously i could not quake him then and uh, then after that uh it's just a couple of fights that i needed to finish out uh there was another dragon man fight that i was meant to also take at end of section at end of this kind of like uh, joint uh middle section but again uh that that did not come to pass for me. So I only have two more fights left in this war. And uh, so far it's been a good war. I haven't used any like potions. Obviously we used some boosts and uh, three minute boosts and all that other stuff. And uh, now I just need to deal with Airwalker using Dr. Doom. And the boss has been defeated at this point as well. So there is not too much to worry about. The main thing is just, you know, get to level three and kick some bottom. And uh, now we're at level 3, we get 12% bonus damage, and uh, this level 3 is going to do a ton, I believe. So we, he goes from 49% to 30%, very good. Now I have Fury buff, and I am able to power drain him as well. I didn't go for full Doom rotation, just because I didn't think I have to. Uh, and yeah, we're just going to finish things out uh, with that beautiful, beautiful rank 4 6 star Doom. And then the final fight that I had to do uh, and I changed my masteries again <laughs> before this fight so I actually ended up changing masteries a lot in this war uh, but uh, this mastery change also was kind of partially done just to help me out after this war finishes because we have a day off war and I wanted to have liquid courage double edge active for arena and some other things and so uh, I put my liquid courage and double edge back on for this fight and here this havoc fight is actually perfect for warlock if you know exactly what you're doing your plan is to slowly build up to your level two without letting him use his level one ideally because if you do have three debuffs on you then he's going to go unblockable and that is something that can be quite annoying uh, so again the entire plan here is not to let him use a level one keep power draining him that eats up all of his plasma charges get to my level two and then power drain or warlock becomes even more potent and uh, one of the things in this fight is that you kind of don't want to use your heavy attack because that would place bleeds and you would get debuffed by havoc's abilities but as long as you don't heavy him and you know what you're doing this fight is super super easy with warlock and that is it that is the war for me and now the war itself actually was again extremely extremely kind of close and competitive it was three to three pretty much uh for most of the second half of the war both alliances gave away some deaths very early on and then it remained at three versus three and then uh, one of our teammates unfortunately had two very unfortunate deaths which you know he has not necessarily blamed on it but i do suspect by the nature of those deaths themselves that it had to do with the fact that his game had auto updated overnight and uh 
just completely uh, messed him up. But either way, no matter the justification, no matter the reason for that, we ended up losing this war three to five. And it is worth mentioning that uh, we would have lost this war on time, even if we finished three on three. Uh, so there you go. Uh, and that's how it finished. Unfortunately, we're definitely not having the greatest season. But the wars themselves, again, even though, and this speaks despite us not having the greatest season, um, I'm enjoying wars more than I used to myself. I'm kind of starting to get back into swing of things. And uh, despite New Nation not doing their best, I kind of feel more excited about Alliance Wars. It is a great shame that the Lions War season potentially will end early again, just to kind of put us in a dreary, boring time of off season for extended periods of time. And um, I realized that alongside missing the champion buffs, Alliance War seasons was also one of the things that, you know, made the thing potentially interesting for a lot of people and not having seasons on and having this like month long off seasons. It's also, from my point of view, fairly harmful for, at the very least, for my personal enjoyment of the game. So I do hope uh, that Kabam can sort out everything that needs to be sorted out very quickly so we can finish out the last uh, three wars of the season properly. And uh, I do, however, believe that this war in particular, because of all the issues that all the people have been facing, should not be counted. And I know that as I comment on that, everybody's going to be jumping. It's because you lost and stuff like that. Now, in reality, this loss does not change pretty much anything where our alliance is going to end up placing. We are more than likely going to be masters, you know, 11 to 20 bracket. You know, even if we had won this war, uh, well, then we might then we might have moved one bracket up. But in general, uh, having this war discounted should not affect our placement all that much, if any, you know in terms of whether we would move a bracket up or down. So that's not why I'm saying it. I'm saying it because I know for a fact that a ton of people had crazy issues and uh, realistically there is no solid argument to let this war number nine be counted for the season because Kabam messed up, Kabam messed up extremely badly and the entire idea of war got thrown out for a loop when in reality the results of these wars for many alliances largely depended which alliance has more people that were affected by Android bug, not which alliance played better. Either way, let me know what you guys think about the situation with War 9. And again, uh, tough luck for New Nation. Uh, not doing too great this season, but hopefully this is uh, going to be working out as a very valuable kind of uh, adjustment period for us and we can come uh, back, finish the season out strong and uh, do well the next time around either way i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i will see you guys soon later hello there guys and welcome back to the channel so we have all the information about the